comments, won't we? <laughs> oh god. Hello everybody, I am here with my best friend Louise. Hello! And we've decided that we want to do something on our second channels where every other week we will be posting a video on each a other's channel. topic of our choice. On a topic of our choice, but also inspired by you guys, because obviously we get asked so many questions and there's never really enough time to reply to everybody and obviously we want to help in any way that we can. So we've decided to sort of go along topics that would be helpful for you. Like a little mini series and we'll run yeah. it for as long as you want to watch it. Yeah, so if you have any future video requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, we've got some lined up already, so we've got the next month kind of sorted, but for the future. Yeah. Whatever let us want, know. Let us know. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is obviously on my channel. So hello, Morzoella. And I hope lots of Louise people. Sprinklerinos. Sprinklerinos. Duh. <laughs> and we're going to talk about why are you so skinny? Which is something that I hear on a regular basis. I also briefly mentioned it on my blog quite a long time ago, actually. That was um, a really good blog post. I liked that. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people liked it and it helped them. Good. Um, basically, I just get asked quite a lot in general public uh, by friends, family members, or... Just everybody. I get asked it, why is Zoe so skinny? But, like, we can all see with our eyes, because that's what you see with, that Zoe is a small person, but when someone says, why are you so skinny? It's not it's asking... It's offensive, it, I what, think. It's implying something, isn't it? It's impl It's basically saying, why are you so... It's almost like, what answer do you want me to give you? I'm skinny because I have an extremely high metabolism, I'm tiny anyway, I have size 3 feet, my skeleton is very small, I have the tiniest little hand, Let's put our heads I have together. a pea head. Like, I've got a normal size head. I'm just really small and it's not- hands. I actually have quite small hands. Yeah, you actually have small no hands. Health, no help. Um, I just find it really offensive and I don't think I'm the only person. I think if someone was slightly overweight um, and they It would be walking... as if someone said to me, why are you so chubby? It's like, well- I'm chubby because I eat too much cheese and pasta, but you're, but you don't know that I could have a thyroid problem. I could have some. I could be on medication. Steroid. You've been steroids. That makes me larger. I I could have had um, an eating disorder and or something like, and it's just so rude to ask it and like assuming that it's an okay question. It's not an okay question. And it's also not an okay question if someone does have an eating disorder, like. Do you, these That's people have help. Yeah, these people have body images. I don't have an eating disorder. I've never had an eating disorder. But those people have issues. Kills with me. She eats the same amount as I do. <laughs> We've had Domino's for breakfast, for goodness sake. But I don't even think it's fair to ask people who may have eating disorders why they're so skinny. Like they have body issues already. You don't need to implant that into their minds even more. I think the message of this video is is and is going to be. Just accept that some people are slim. Skinny is an offensive word. Skinny is the equivalent of fat, we think. I would say so. Yeah. Why so, you, you wouldn't say why are you so fat? But. No. Some people are slim, some people are big, some people are tall, some people are short, some people have big thighs and small arms, or the other way around. And it's big just, shoulders. It's and... just how it is. Like you don't need to ask people why their body is the way it is. It just is the way it is. Unless it's like your mum who's like sensed a problem or like you really are doing it because you care and you've thought a lot about it then I think that's a separate issue. I don't think that if you think a friend might have some sort of problem that should go unquestioned. It's just when strangers do it that really gripes yeah. me. I think what we're trying to say is don't say skinny and thin, that's the same as saying like fat and obese. Yeah. I don't agree that people should ever comment on anyone else's size. We are a family of borrowers, but there should never be a reason... They might not know what a borrower is. A borrower Google is... It. Google, Google it. Google a borrower. Google a borrower. Um, but there should never be an explanation or... What's the word I'm looking for? A justification for why you are how you are. It affected my self-esteem because in school I was always like twiggy and... Like, you can only imagine what I look like without boobs and a bum. A stick. A stick. I looked like a stick. 
and with hair. yeah, stick with hair. And it always came to pee, and I had the scrawniest legs and the boniest knees and the little bony elbows. And my collarbones used to stick out, and it actually really made me very insecure about my body because everyone would be like, "Oh, get some meat on you," and "Oh God, eat some pies." And I don't even like pies, and I have got meat on me. You could give someone a real complex about their body, and I don't think that's fair, regardless of whether you're really, really tiny or really, really large. Thank you. No, I was doing that. I wasn't oh, saying okay. you were large. How? <laughs> oh, I'll say it again and not use my hands. You should just leave it in. <laughs> I think that if you are slim like Zoe or curvy like me, or as if you want to be rude about it, skinny and fat, then I think that's okay. If you're happy and you're healthy, then screw what everybody else thinks. Like as long as you're happy and healthy. If you're unhealthy, then. You, that's something to address and I actually think that I could lose weight like I would be a healthier human being if I lost weight but currently I'm happy and that's not really something that I need to address on camera at this very moment I think if there was so, anyone that had an issue with it they would be doing something about it yeah I think it's not for you to say I th I'll correct myself I think for the most part it's not for you to say you're really skinny have you got something wrong or what are you doing that's making you that way however I, we both think that if you have a friend who you think might be suffering from some sort of problem that she could do with some help with, mm. she or he had a problem with, then you could think of a better way. You could address it, but in a better way. It's than, very insensitive, I think. Yeah, I mean, if somebody... I've known people who have had eating disorders, and if I were to say, why are you so skinny? That is not going to make them go, they're right, I have an eating disorder, I should, you know, definitely stop not. losing food, or I should eat more food, thanks, they've solved me, that's not going to help, that's just going to do no good at all. So, point is, be a decent person, perhaps you don't realise that saying why are you so skinny is rude, it is rude. I just want to also say as well, because I think people will see it from the other side, because I had a lot of people saying this on my blog post, is that they'll say, are you sure they're not complimenting you? Because being skinny is yeah, seen as... True. A great thing because everyone in the magazines is so skinny and models are so skinny but personally it's never been said to me as a compliment and if it is it's you're so slim there's such a difference no do you know I have said that to someone as a compliment before I knew when I was this was ages ago when I was at uni and I have friends that are twins who are both really slender they've got like your body shape and they're taller and I said to one of them once we were going on a night out and I said oh my god you look so skinny in that outfit and she was like and now I feel really insecure. I was like, but why? I would love to look so it's skinny. It's literally that word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, she was like, skinny is really offensive. I was like, hi, oh, you look so thin. And she was like, no, no thin's not good. That's not, and I was like, what do you want me to say? She was like, just say nice. Like, I wouldn't say, you wouldn't say to me, oh, you oh, look you so, so curvilicious. <laughs> yeah, you look so curvilicious. You look so, like, rounded, would you? No. Like, you look nice. You look great in that outfit. Yeah, although if someone said to me, I love your curves, I'd be like, oh, thanks very much. But then if That's someone said to me, I love your little waist. I wouldn't see that as offensive because I would know that they were saying that as a compliment. Yeah. But a lot of people just think saying, "Oh, you're think so about skinny. your words." It's literally the wording your and words. the way you say it. Moral of the story: Be nice. If you're slim like me and you worry about it, please don't worry. Curves will come. Boobs will come. Your bottom will wobble. And and if you're bigger like me. Don't worry about it either, unless you feel like you're unhealthy and you would like to lose weight, don't lose weight because someone has pressured you to. If you are happy and healthy and you think, I've got great ass and great boobs, which I think I have, and great she legs. Has. I've seen both. And a great weight, I'm going to just go on, and a, and a great this and a great that, then and great hair, great hair. <laughs> then don't worry about it, live your life and enjoy yourself. You'll, one, one day you'll be old and you'll be dying. Wrinkly. Yeah, and you'll be like... Do you know what? I should have just really like lived my life in an awful I should have worn that do. short skirt that yeah, I really like. I liked. should have ran around with free abandon and not worried about will my thighs wobble as I do it? Will people be vlogging me? Will they put it in slow mo? Maybe. Never mind. Who cares? Who cares? Also, if you do mean it in a really nice complimentary way, then there are definitely nicer ways of putting it. And it's good that you wanted to give a compliment. Yeah, everyone loves compliments, just make sure I you're, love them. you're actually giving a compliment and not being yeah. rude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that is the first instalment. I've done a blog post on this, as I said, and we probably I did probably explain that in a little bit more of a short form. So if you do want to see that, the link is below. Um, next week, the video will be up on Louisa's second channel, which mm -hmm. is Sprinkle of Chatter. You can click her face now. 
Yes. So go make sure you're subscribed to her to see the second topic that we'll be talking about. Which will be boundaries and saying no. And that's very important. Mm -hmm. So um, click like if you enjoy these videos. It's just something different and something, Dish. something a little extra to add. Um, also leave your comments below. If you've had any experiences in Yeah, them. if you... Do be respectful to each other. I, I don't want to see like a big like... No, this is not song. a debate store. Like this is not a debate videos. No, this is no, 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 helpful no. videos. And you know, if we've helped one person, then great. So thank you so much for watching. We love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. And then it goes into like a nice little messy bun. And I really like it. Do you like it, Darcy? It's a cat. Darcy's cat. a cat. Meow. Meow. Um, Darcy had a go at makeup, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Got pink. You got pink on your eyes. It's got brushes.